Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. So up to this point, you've been sitting back and watching me do all the heavy lifting here. You're all cozy and relaxed, and you might even have your feet kicked up on your desk. Well, now it's your time to struggle. And struggle is good. It's how you learn. No struggle, no learning. So uh, if you're already familiar with XAML, this might go smoothly. If you're not, then this might be a little bit more challenging for you, but challenge is good. It might take you 30 minutes an hour. You might have to go back and rewatch some videos or reference MSDN for some help, but I think you can do this based on what we've already learned so far. There's actually three challenges in a row and they're all related to layout, what we've already learned. And so this first challenge I'm calling the laudable layout challenge. And you can see that we're building a simple app, only the user interface. We don't have any functionality in this app whatsoever. It just has First of all, one grid and a grid only. That's part of the requirements. We'll talk about them in a moment. And uh, you can see that we're just capturing in text boxes, the first name, last name, and the email address for a sales prospect. And then we have a save button. And again, it doesn't do anything at all. But you can kind of get an idea of the layout here as I kind of move this, this around. You can see that there's, there's one column here. There's a second column that holds the text boxes and then a third column here that just has some padding. You can also see there's a number of rows. So I'm gonna let you figure that out. Let's talk about each of the requirements. Uh, first of all, you can only use a grid control. Secondly, this is more of a tip. Whenever I was designing the application, I used the designer of a five inch phone, 1920 by 1080, 300% scale. Uh, the large, text block here at the top is 48 points uh, so make sure you use that most of the margins that you see here on the left and here between this top um, text block and all the rest of the text boxes they're either 10 pixels or 20 pixels i'll let you figure that out and then the text blocks for the first name last name and email address should be centered vertically in the row and i'll show you what i mean by that Presumably this is a row here at the very top and you can see that the text box is butted up at what appears to be the top of the row and then there's some spacing below it and if you were to kind of use your mouse cursor and trace along you can see that the text block in the leftmost column is centered between the top line of the text box and the start of the next text box in the next row. Okay, so figure out how to do that. Uh, now, this is the tricky part here, number six. You're gonna need to figure out how to allow your text block to span multiple columns, all right? So when you have uh, a need to, to tell the grid how to do something, what do you use? use an attach property. So you should use IntelliSense to figure out the correct attached property to make your text block span multiple columns, all right? Uh, if you ever get stuck, you can take a look at this extra little screenshot that I provide as guidance, all right? And that's in a file named uwp-011-screenshot.png. And here's the, uh, the part that's important. First of all, you should attempt to, to solve this without my help whatsoever. Now, if you get stuck, I don't want you to struggle too much and get frustrated. Watch enough of the solution video, the very next video, to get unstuck and then continue to move forward on your own to the extent that it's possible. Uh, and then after you finish and successfully complete the challenge, you will not only feel victory, but you will also then want to watch the solution video in total so that you can compare the way that you approach this challenge versus the way that I approached it. Maybe you have a more elegant way of approaching something than I did. Maybe I use a different technique than you did. So you can compare and contrast and hopefully by doing that, learn a little bit more. Uh, and so that's pretty much all I have to say here. Don't cheat. Don't go on to the next video and watch it first. Make sure you struggle half hour, an hour maybe, if it takes that. Rewatch videos if you have to, okay? So we'll see what you come up with in the next video, in the solution. See you there.